I've always believed that keeping your friend circle small is better in every aspect compared to having a larger circle. For me personally, the larger your circle is, the less trustworthy you are as a person. And let me explain. You see, no matter who you are, everyone has different ways of connecting with different people. This difference is seen in the way you talk, your tone, your demeanor, your energy, even the nuances of the things you say. And this applies to every single person. For example, how I am with my guy friends and how I am with my friends that are girls is completely different. And it's not like I'm different people switching back and forth. I'm just showing different sides of me accordingly. Cause you gotta understand people and there's a way of connecting to different personalities. If you're someone who understands people really well, you can understand what I'm saying. Here's where the problem with this begins though. The more you accommodate to and adjust to different people, the harder it is to stay true to yourself. And the harder it is to stay true to yourself, the faker you become. And the more fake you become, the more fake relationships you begin to have. You begin to accommodate to different people, sit on the fence cause you don't wanna offend people, not saying what you truly think or believe cause you're afraid of stepping on toes. By the way, that's actually one of the biggest signs that you're not actually as close as you'd like to think. And I like to call this playing on the fence. And that is why I say the larger your circle is, the less trustworthy you are as a person. It's because you're trying to appeal to everyone. You don't stand up for yourself, your ideas, your beliefs. You just try to be more agreeable towards everyone because you want as many quote unquote friends as possible. And these are the people I cannot stand the most. You see, everyone is different. No matter how much you connect with someone, there's always going to be clash of beliefs, points of views, and disagreements. This is because no one grows up with the same experiences, same life, same everything, not even twins. That's literally the only plausible way one person can agree with someone else on everything. In other words, it's impossible. So the more of yourself you are and the more real you are to other people, two things will always happen. The first is that the people who dislike you, who secretly hate your guts, become a lot more obvious. I've seen and experienced this time and time again, but you don't hold any negativity. Like it is what it is, people are different. Like I wear my heart on my sleeve. If there's something you don't like, I'm sorry, that's just me. I'm not living for you, as everyone should. The second is that the people who respect and love you and care for you for you also become a lot more clear. It's because people can feel authenticity. These two things will always happen the more true you are to yourself. That's why you can never trust someone who everyone seems to like, who seems to be friends with everyone. Because it's not possible. People are different. The more expressive you are of yourself, there's just gonna be people that don't like you for whatever reason. But that's also when you start seeing people that do. And the smaller your circle is, the stronger your connections are with those in it. And I feel like deep down, everyone knows whether a friendship is for the long run or not. Whether it's a strong connection or just a fickle one, it's the people that you just genuinely end up talking to, seeing, and hanging out with without any effort. Like it just happens, cause interacting with them is like breathing. Even if there's a period of time where you guys don't talk or see each other, the moment you see them, it feels like picking up right where you left off. That's how you know. And also, you're not afraid to tiptoe around people you have strong connections with. You don't hold your tongue or what you think because you're scared of getting on their bad side. Real friends are real with each other. They're not afraid to disagree and they always tell you how it is. And real friends aren't afraid to call each other out on things because you know no matter what, it's gonna be good afterwards because there's a mutual understanding that you guys have a strong bond. And also another point I wanna bring up is that People have things to do. It's like the older you get, or not just older, I'll just say the more mature you become, the more you start to gravitate towards a smaller group of friends. And I know this applies to 99.99% of people. It's because the older you get, the more responsibilities you have, right? The more scarce time becomes. Your circle will naturally become smaller because at the end of the day, we all focus on ourselves the most. We have to live our own lives. No one has the time or energy to be adhering to a huge amount of people or maintaining every non-existent relationship to people you're not actually close to. Like it's just not plausible. And besides, even if it was, why would you even want that? To have an insane amount of friends and to maintain all those relationships? And again, I've mentioned this before, but a lot of that stems from the fear of loneliness and it governs so much of people's decisions. It's why people hang out with people they don't even like. It's why people do things that they don't like. It's why people try to convince themselves they're closer to people than they actually are. It's a fear of being and feeling alone, which is understandable when you're a teenager, but at some point you gotta grow out of that. There's no other way to put it. Understand that you don't escape the feelings of loneliness by surrounding yourself with as much people as you can. You break through those feelings of loneliness by finding it within yourself to be okay with being alone. And that's also when you begin to build more genuine relationships because how you act is authentic. Like it's not rooted from a fear of being alone. Oh, and also another thing, some would argue that it's best to befriend as much people as possible to network. This part is just me, but I absolutely hate the word networking because networking is basically making and developing as many relationships and interaction as possible for the sole purpose of furthering your career or whatever. And yeah, it's just me, but I hate that kind of stuff. Just feels so disingenuine and it goes against every ounce of my being. 
So yeah, having a smaller circle is always going to be better. Anyways, if you liked the vid, leave a like, comment, or sub. And with that said, make sure you guys stay true, and I'll talk to you real soon. Peace.